How should we interpret that bizarre kid-tossing incident in a South Carolina school? The cop who tossed the kid was fired, but even the sheriff who fired him said it was the kid's fault because she showed disrespect. That's an odd notion of respect. It runs one way from authorities like cops and teachers to kids, and any failure to obey equals disrespect. There's lots of other ways to interpret non-compliance. You actually need a fairly shaky sense of self-respect to see every sign of opposition as disrespect. Could it have to do with the changing American sense of self? We know most U.S. cops take their nation's image seriously. They wear those flag pins. And America's taken a beating across the world lately. They still throw their weight around, but fewer comply. In Afghanistan, the Taliban are back. In Iraq, Iran has more influence. Cuba defied them for half a century, and now the U.S. backed down. You don't even have to go abroad. There's been domestic defiance of authority since the Ferguson protests. Was this cop saying, almost pathetically, on behalf of how things used to be, show some respect, kid? Somebody somewhere should. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.